<coughs> another day at Glentress and another e-bike at Glentress. This one is a nuke proof megawatt and <coughs> so I've ridden it up here to the top of the boundary trail and that was fine. Uh, so I'm going to just drop in and make my way back down to the bottom. Uh, pre pretty much all the trails here are either closed for a race or or Trail Fork says they're closed for storm damage. So I'm just going to pick my way down whatever the hell I can. And yeah, I'll catch you up when I drop in. Okay, <coughs> here we go. Boundary Trail. Let's hope there's no big trees that appear out of nowhere and kill me. I had a shot at one of these megawatts last year and I fucking loved it. <laughs> there is big tree big trees down, but there's a rear route. So this one is five year plan and there's another reroute at the start but hopefully it's fine after this or maybe, maybe it's a completely new trail that goes down to the middle of nowhere, let's find out Some kind of continuation here. This is oh, freshly cut, slippy off camber goodness. Oh, now we're back in. Fucking great way to rejoin the trail that was. Yeah, these brakes are howling like a banshee unfortunately, but hopefully it doesn't spoil the footage too much. Next trail on the roster for the day is Mild Peril. Uh, so far I am liking this bike just as much as I did last year. It is so confidence inspiring is the best word for it. It is just, just planted, it soaks up everything. But actually it isn't too bad if you want to pick it up and try and bunny hop it and stuff.
Well, I made a bit of a mess of that. Absolutely nailed my foot off a rock going through that puddle there. Pretty short, not gonna lie. to the fucking horrible big climb that even on an e-bike I'm assuming I'm not going to enjoy see you at some point up there right, a wee diversion before we get to Honduro and those ones that we're doing next I remember hitting this trail about 10 years ago on a cross country bike and that's the only time I've ever done it Righty, diversion over we're now at the top of Ewok village down to Ponduro and that kind of thing and might as well just drop in because barely even out of breath Thanks to this Eeb. Oh. Oops, forgot that went that way. <laughs> Righty, this is called Head Over Heels into Ponduro. This will take us back down to near the bottom. big drop compared to the last time I rode it This 
boot stays lean, works very well. Oh, I didn't crash, it just may have looked. Oh no, that's not the line. Righty, let's finish up this demo on uh, whatever this is called, Palabre. in like going nuts on this part of the trail it's too flat and on an e-bike you'll just hit the limiter and then you'll knacker yourself with the weight of these things trying to pedal past the limiter it's a full game as from here though you can start to push on it gets a little bit more engaging oh, oh, I gotta go there How you're meant to get the speed to clear that.
Oh, that was good. So, everything you've just watched was done in one hour and 33 minutes on an e-bike. On my normal bike, that would take me an entire morning to do that loop. A good three hours probably, if not more. And I'm not that tired. I can feel it, don't get me wrong, but I could probably go and do it. In fact, I will be going to do it again shortly on a different e-bike. I'll see you then.